Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a historical romance book haul. I have been kind of collecting these for the last like month and a half and some of them are eBay, some of them are half price books. Um, so anyway, I just thought I would share them with you. So I did grab a Julie Garwood lot. So we have Lion's Lady, which I think I already owned, but not in this cover. And we have Honor's Splendor. The Gift. And Rebellious Desire. So excited to read those. I finally have read my first Julie Garwood. I read The Secret and absolutely loved it. So I'm excited to read more from her. Okay. Um, then we have Teresa Medeiros, I believe is how you say her name, One Night of Scandal. I know Crystal talks about her a lot, and I had never really heard of her or even seen her books anywhere, so when I saw this at Half Price Books, I grabbed it, and the step back is super pretty, so I'm um, excited for that one. I think she also writes a lot of paranormal, but I believe this one is just a historical, I think. Okay, then we have Under the Mistletoe by Mary Below. <coughs> the Perils of Perusing a Prince by Julia London. <coughs> a Scottish Love by Karen Ranny or Rainey, I'm not sure. How you pronounce her name and one man's love by Karen Ranny I feel like people say it rainy but it has that pretty back cover okay then we have two books from Caroline Linden we have Wendy Mar Mar I don't know how you say this one either Marquess Marquess Marquise I don't know when the Marquess was mine <clears throat> and what a woman needs and I have the fairest of them all by Kathy Maxwell and never a bride by Megan Frampton Uh, Wild Wild Rake by Jana McGregor and The Bride Who Got Lucky by Jana McGregor and we have The Heiress by Lindsay, Lin, Lindsay Sands and My Favorite Things. This is a, it's like three short Christmas stories. Okay, then we have three books by Katherine Ash. We have The Rogue, The Prince, and The Duke. I believe these are all from the same series, but I'm not sure what order they go in. Um, okay, and then I had a really big eBay lot that was pretty cheap and had some really exciting books in it. This isn't one that I was super looking forward to, but it's A Rose in Winter by Kathleen, Kathleen, Kathleen E. Widowis. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I will keep that and read it or if I will pass it on, but that came in the lot. But then it also came with A Dark and Stormy Night by Kerrigan Byrne. This is the book that she, I believe, self-published, and so I think this version is out of print and it's really hard to find, so, um, I snagged it when I saw that lot. I think I got each book for like a dollar and it came with some really exciting books. It also had a really exciting Lisa Claypez in it that we will get to in a minute. But um, I grabbed The Virgin and the Rogue by Sophie Jordan. I already have this on audio, which I didn't realize, but I haven't read it yet. So, um, and I like switching back and forth between audio and physical anyway, so it'll be fine. Uh, Do You Want to Start a Scandal by Tessa Dare. And then this is all one Joanna Shoup. Actually, I don't think this was an eBay lot. I think all of these are at my half price books. A Scandalous Deal by Joanna Shoup. 
I never see Joanna Shoup in my half price book, so I grabbed all of these when I saw it because I only owned one book of hers before this. A Notorious Vow. A Daring Arrangement. And I haven't read anything by her yet, but I really want to. Baron from the Knickerbockers Club. The Devil of Downtown. And The Prince of Broadway. So really excited to read some books from her. Okay, then I have two from Grace Burroughs. We have The Soldier. This doesn't have a step back, but just the cover I feel like is so pretty. I love that pink of her dress. And then we have No Other Duke Will Do. Um, the Earl Takes a Fancy by Lorraine Heath. And Dreamtide by Robin Lee Hatcher. And then three from Kieran Kramer. These to me sound so funny because they are like takes on children's books. You have Cloudy with a Chance of Marriage. So it's Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs is the children's book. And I am assuming that the storyline doesn't have anything to do with it. It's just the title. Um, but we have that, and then you have if you grow up, give a girl a Viscount, or a Viscount, like if you give a mouse a cookie. And then The Earl is Mine. I don't know that this one is based on a book, but. Okay, and then for my Lisa Claypez, these were super exciting. So the first three were just books that I had not um, found and purchased by her yet. So we have Marion Winterborn, When Strangers Marry which I feel like I might have owned, but without the step back. And then Married by Morning. But then I finally have found three of her old ones. So we have Only With Your Love, which I'm not sure if this is the original cover of this one. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, and then we have Forever My Love and Where Passion Leads. Um, I'm so excited. I cannot believe I found these. I am so excited to add these to my collection. I think I'm still missing one, but it's on its way. I found it, and it's on its way to me in the mail, obviously. So super excited for that. I am almost done with my like old school Lisa Kleypas collection, which is so exciting. This has a clearance $1 sticker on it. I did not pay $1 for it. Who got to pay $1 for this at one point? Like That is crazy. And now it's... Oh, that's the one that's on the way. Love come to me. That's the one. I think, I'm pretty sure that's the one I purchased that's on its way. But so, so, so excited to finally have these. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you've read any of these, which are your favorites. And um, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.